Hey, shut up. You're wrong. You are wrong if you think that you know the most iconic Halloween music that has ever been musicified. You think you know. You think you know. You think you know about your monster mashes or your thrillers or I'm in love with the monster from Hotel Transylvania 2, which is actually a really good song. Oh, calling all the monsters. Uh, freaking... This is Halloween from Nightmare Before Christmas. No, shut up, you idiots, you fools. You absolute not smart people. That one cut deep, I know. You don't know iconic Halloween music until you've heard Lovecraft. Oh, Lovecraft? I've never heard. Are you referring to uh, the freaking novel writer? He didn't write novels. He wrote just like short stories or whatever. Maybe they were novels. I don't think they were novels. Are you referring to the guy who wrote the the things? Are you referring to H.P. Lovecraft? The guy who wrote all the stories about the freaking... He made his own genre of horror, basically? He made Cthulhu? That guy? No, I'm not talking about that guy. That guy's stupid. He's an idiot. What does he know? Literally nothing. That's why he, that's why he made up all those stories. Because he didn't know anything. He wasn't educated enough. You don't understand the spectrum? You don't understand how the spectrum of light worked. Which led him to make a whole freaking crazy story about light, which just shows he just doesn't know what he's talking about. Forget him. Forget that guy. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the band that is spelled that exact same way, only without all the vowels. Because it's scarier that way. Now, this band has not been around all that long. Looking at their first album was released in 2019. So this is only their third year putting out music. I don't want to say making music. Maybe, they, maybe these people have been making music for a long time and just haven't actually released any of it. I don't know. I'm not going to claim to li know their life stories. But what I do know is that their music is freaking dope. My first introduction to this band was, and I'm sure this is the case for a lot of people, it was watching the 31 Nights of Halloween on Freeform. It used to be ABC Family. They changed it to be more in line with freaking young adult demographic or some ridiculous nonsense. I don't freaking know. No, I think I do know. I just don't like it. But if you don't know what if you don't know what that is, it's this thing that you know, Freeform does. Uh, they've done it for several years now. So they've done it for several years now since I was a kid, at least. So that's at least 23. But it's this thing that is this must long thing that they do to where every day he, they'll play uh, a movie. They'll play some sort of Halloween movie he, uh, or some sort of movie that goes along with yeah, just a Halloween movie. They'll generally play like multiple a day. He just such as just the nature of the channel or whatever. But they do, but they do always have these dedicated movies that they. They're like, okay, we're going to play, we're going to be playing Ghostbusters on this day. Hey, we're going to play the freaking Simpsons uh, Treehouse of Horror thing, whatever, on this day or whatever. It's, the, it's that. They do that. It's a, there's a schedule every year that you can look at. It's, it's, it's a whole thing. They do the same thing for Christmas, too. 25 days of Christmas. It's real nice. So naturally, when a cable network is going to do this month-long event thing like this, they're gonna wanna advertise it. Maybe even make like some sort of fun little trailer out of it if it's a freaking big event that people are going to look forward to. And they have done that. And then they'll take that trailer and they'll shorten it down and make it just like a little bumper to put it during the commercial breaks. Well, last year, they had their little trailer for it. I didn't even see the trailer, I just saw it as the bumper. I just saw it as one of the bumpers while watching one of the movie. Uh, and I'm watching it, and I'm hearing this new cover of Spooky Scary Skeleton, uh, which again is another iconic song, except for it isn't. Shut up. It's not iconic yet. It wasn't iconic until Lovecraft touched it. That's, that's the moral of the story here. Yeah, it was, it was done by Lovecraft. Like, I was hearing it, and I'm like, this is freaking dope. Uh, let me Shazam this and find who this band is and check out some of their other music. And I did that. And now we're here. Because when I Shazam did, and I looked at some of the other music that they've put out, turns out they make pretty much exclusively Halloween spook music. Nothing else. <laughs> they really don't do anything else. It's just Halloween music. 
which is freaking dope. <laughs> Their first album, I I have Spotify pulled up on my Apple TV over here, so that's why I'm looking over in this direction. But their, their, their first album is called This Is Halloween Volume 1. We haven't gotten a Volume 2 to that, which is strange. But it is home to such classics as a woo. Voodoo. You know I'd fall for your voodoo. Spooky. I swear now all these have the double. I swear now all these have double O's in their name. That's just it's just a coincidence. Like this one, Candyman. And yes, I can confirm that if you play, if you listen to it five times uh, in front of a mirror, the Candyman himself will show up. Uh, I know this because I tried it. Uh, he showed up. Uh, I punched him in the face and called him Sally, and then he ran away. But then my personal two favorites from this from this album are Skeleton Sam. And my absolute top tier. Absolute number one favorite song that they that Lovecraft has ever put out is on this album, Take It to the Graveyard. So good. It's so freaking good. It's just it's 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 good. It's just good. Listen to it. It's just so freaking. It's so. It's so good, man. It's so good. I want to make an Halloween AMV with it. I've already edited like almost half, over half of it. I just can't finish the the other half. <laughs> I've been sitting on this for months now. I can't finish it. What's is there something wrong with me? Am I the fool? Probably, I'm, I'm probably the fool. Yeah, that makes sense. And then there's their second second album from 20, 2020, from last year called they're called the sequel. Cause why wouldn't it be? That is where you're gonna find their cover of Spooky Scary Skeleton. It's complete with the, they added a whole new verse to the song, which kind of makes it the best. Spooky Scary Skeletons, play them bones like xylophone. When the lights go out and you're all alone, when the phone go dead, ain't nobody home. You're also gonna find great songs like Ferocious. Dead heartbeat. Freaking bone shaker. <laughs> Freaking bone shaker, man. Bone shaker, bone shaker, bone shaker. Bone shaker. Bone shaker. They're one of my personal favorites. Exercise the demons. Freaking beast mode. And I think what is probably my favorite song from this album, Don't Leave Me in the Dark. Also something to probably point out is that it seems it does seem like a lot of the, <laughs> it doesn't seem like a lot of the a lot of songs that they make are kinda like spooky love songs, uh to an extent. Like Ferocious and Dead Heartbeat are they're essentially love songs. But they're scary, they're spooky. I don't think there's one on the first album, hang on. Like I said, I got Spotify pulled up and I'm just Cause I can't, I can't remember things. I can remember the songs, but I can't remember names. I'm, I'm a goof. Voodoo's kind of more of a breakup song. And in the lead up to this year's album called The Return, they started to release a few of their song, a few of the songs from this album um, as singles uh, leading up to 
October 1st, which is generally where these, when these albums get released. Because when, when the hell else would it come out? It released a total of like four, uh, like throughout like September and what's the other month? I have a calendar here, hold on. August. Pretty sure it was like throughout, throughout September and like very late in August, they started releasing in the songs as, um, as singles to uh, help hype up the, um, help hype up the album, help people get excited. And it worked. I literally could not stop listening to every night uh, going up, coming up during, 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 during September. Oh, I stuttered. That one in Spellbound. Spellbound, really freaking good. It's really good. Even with that, the most favorite from this album, Paranoid. <laughs> it's probably Paranoid, I think. That being said, I am very happy that they were, <laughs> they were able to team up with Spirit Halloween to... Uh, to make like a kind of like a live action music video thing for um for every night because if you go to their youtube channel they have a lot of, of uh lyric videos for their songs i think if you look at it, there's one or two like actual straight music videos no i'm wrong no it's just it's just, it kind of it's kind of just lyric video was, I guess those can count as music videos. It's whatever. But they made a full-on music video for every night uh, with Spirit Halloween. And it was freaking cool. <laughs> really freaking dope. I watched it and I couldn't stop dancing in my seat the entire time. Not kidding. From beginning to end, I could not stop moving my body. It's almost like some sort of spirit took me over. and I, Oh, the dancing energy. The spook, the, the, the ghost of dancing past took over my body and I couldn't stop dancing. Oh no! So if you have a Halloween playlist, as I have, if you have a Halloween playlist and there's not any semblance of Lovecraft in it at all, you need to fix that immediately because you are committing a Halloween crime. Lovecraft is the creme de la creme of Halloween music, all right? You understand me? You understand me? Look at me. Look at me in my eyes. It doesn't get better than them. They, they have released like three other songs that are actually not based, or actually not for Halloween uh, as singles. One of them is Halfway There, which was for Halloween, which is just the part is just the part of the year where you're halfway to Halloween. <laughs> You've gone half a year. It's been half a year since Halloween. There's another half left before you get to October, which I had never heard about until the the song was released. They also have a small, e they have a, a little EP uh, for songs that are meant to be uh, for Dia de los Muertos, um, which is not the same as Halloween. Two completely different holidays. Uh, it's a common misconception that Dia de los Muertos is just Mexican Halloween. It's not. It's very much not. Completely different holiday. Don't get them mixed up. Don't cross the streams. Don't. Don't put Dio de los Muertos, don't lump it in with Halloween. Because it's not. Quite frankly, I'm pretty sure it's disrespectful to try and mix those two together. And again, I, I have a lot of favorites, as you can tell. And my favorite um, that they've put out that's not for Halloween is actually for Christmas, <laughs> weirdly enough. Um, it's called Naughty and Nice. It's still spooky. They, they found a way to make a, a good Christmas song and still make it spooky. The way they did that is to have a lot of the song be about Krampus. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah, and anyone who has watched the new Netflix reboot of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, um, you may have heard somewhere, maybe it's in the show itself, I don't know, it probably is, but you've probably heard the song, the song Straight to Hell um, associated with the show. Um, and yes, that is by Lovecraft. Um, but the thing about that is, I decided to listen to it. I was holding off on listening to it for a while because I kept forgetting it existed until it was, you know, not October. So I decided, no, let me wait. But, when I, but this year when I did finally sit down and listen to it, I noticed something. I was listening to it, and I noticed that it is, in fact, a... It's, it's, it's just Skeleton Sam, but... With different lyrics on Spotify, it is also their most listened to song, which tells me that more people know have heard Straight to Hell than have heard Skeleton Sam, which means that there are millions of people out there who don't know um, that Straight to Hell is a Bastardization of Skeleton Sam. I didn't want to use the word. I was trying not to use it. it then I couldn't think of anything else, so we're going with that. Not to say that it's that you can't enjoy it. You can enjoy it all you want, but we must acknowledge that it's the that it is Skeleton Sam, but with different lyrics. The exact same song. Skeleton Sam came first. Let's not forget that. Must be known. And if you choose to ignore this fact, Skeleton Sam himself will come to find you. And he'll probably just dance in front of you, honestly. He's not that threatening. He's, he's a really cool, chill dude, actually. My computer went into a, the pseudo-sleep mode thing. I have it set to play to, for when it does that, to play a slideshow of a bunch of, a bunch of pictures. Right now, they're all set to be Halloween. I don't... I don't want that in my face right now. So, yeah, <laughs> this video was kind of not a lot of anything. I, kinda, I just wanted to talk about this band because I think they're dope. <laughs> I really freaking like this band, man. They're dope. They're really good. They're really freaking good, and they deserve more recognition. They deserve to be more popular. People need to put these people's music, people need to put this band's music in more Halloween playlists. I say that as someone who has a Halloween playlist that is almost 24 hours long. Not on purpose either. I didn't mean to. I, that wasn't my plan. It just never happened. And now I'm really, I'm really wanting to get it to 24 hours. <laughs> I'm really wanting to get it to the full 24 hours. Yeah, I just want, I just wanted to, I just wanted to sing my praises to this song, to this, not this song, several songs to this band because they're good. They're really good. They're really good at making Halloween music. I think they're I think they're dope and they they deserve more recognition. More people should know about them. So this video is likely not going to get a lot of views. Hi to the three people who are watching. If I'm lucky, five. But now you know how much I love this band. And I guess great, sure, whatever. Maybe this one will blow up. Let's hope. Yeah, I just I just want to talk about this band. I just want to talk about Lovecraft. And that that's kind of. So there's not much more I have to say. So I have to find a way to end the video. Should I put, should I put a Lovecraft song as the music in the end card? I'll probably do that. I'll probably do that. I'll probably get copyright claimed. My videos can't be monetized anyways. I lose nothing. I'll do it. Dance, dance, dance the way he moves.